wondering where I am right now, I'm out at Backcountry Wilderness Area, and we're gonna meet up with Lindsay McKissick. She's gonna take us on the all-terrain vehicle and take us over thousands of acres of conservation land. I'm super excited to show you all about the Backcountry Wilderness Area. Let's go for a ride. Hey, Michelle. So this is not a bad office no, view. No, no, it's the best. First of all, thanks for having me out here. Thanks. Um, I want you to tell our audience, you know, obviously this is um, what you do mm -hmm. and why this is so important. Yeah, so um, this is the Backcountry Wilderness Area. It's owned by the Highlands Ranch Community Association. It's 8,200 acres or 13 square miles of wildlife habitat property here in Highlands Ranch. How do you partner with the community to help people know you know what's here and how they can utilize it yeah so we really focus on starting with recreation moving that if people enjoy being outside then they're going to want to learn so we introduce environmental education and people who learn and love nature will in turn conserve and protect it so Lindsay I know um, there's a lot of wildlife out here right tell me what uh, what type of wildlife do you guys see and how do you protect it we have everything from elk to black bears and bobcats and we have a historic golden eagle nest Pretty much anything that you would find in the Front Range ecosystem is likely here in the backcountry wilderness area. That's a lot of wildlife to watch over. How do you guys protect that wildlife without physically being out here all the time? Uh, we have trail cams that dot the entire property. So um, besides the eyes of our staff, we're able to see the amount of animals, their health, and anything else we need to keep our eyes on. The cool thing about the trail cams is also that the public has an eye on the property as well. So Trail Cam Tuesday is on our social media every week that gives you a look into how the wildlife lives. So Lindsay, how do they get, how do you guys get the water up here? Do you bring water tanks or how do you fill this? Yeah, so we have a thousand gallon water truck that gets trucked up here and that's what our nonprofit funds is bringing water resources to wildlife. In addition to some of the centennial water wells that are filled through the wells. Yeah, because you were saying without water. Wildlife's not hanging out without water, it's a yeah. necessity. Yeah, that makes sense. So this is the trail cam that I was telling you about, Michelle, and it captures any wildlife, um, that would come and visit this water tank and it's on a, um, a motion detector. So as soon as they wander up, it starts snapping pictures. They're on candy camera. All the time. Got it. So this is Otis. He's one of our barnyard animals here at base camp. So we've got two donkeys, five goats, and a bunch of chickens and ducks. Do the kids come and pet over here? Or oh yeah, yep, they get access and um, take goats for walks and play with chickens and ducks. And then we've got horses up at the horse corrals. Oh, how fun. Yeah, Yeah, I think I used to see, I've seen some of your chicken footage. Didn't you have them in your, oh, you have bunnies. Do you have something in your office down here? Uh, ducklings. Oh, ducklings. Ducklings, okay, yes. I remember that. Yep. Lindsay, thank you so much for um, taking me all around today. I really loved hearing about your passion um, and most importantly how you know the mission is to keep that conservation of this land and teach our kids to take care of it as well. Yeah, thank thanks you so much. Thanks for coming on a tour. Yeah, give me a hug. Love to see you soon. Oh, good to see you. Okay. Bye. A great day we've had today. I'm so glad you joined me on the all-terrain vehicle adventure. It was almost like being in Jurassic Park. We got to explore the backcountry wilderness area and learn why the conservation of this area is so important. Thanks so much again and until our next episode, here's to your American dream.